Hello, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy. I hope everyone's having a wonderful and most enjoyable day in our beautiful King and Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah of the world. Today I will be reading Luke 10, verses 25 to 42. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Then Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three, thinkest thou, was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And he said, He that shewed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go, and do thou likewise. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet, and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving, and came to him, and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her therefore that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Let us praise our wonderful God. Our Father, our glorious, mighty, wonderful, faithful and true Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your beautiful son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, the gift to the whole world. Thank you for the beautiful promise of your Holy, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to your holy name, for there is only one God and there is none other and I worship you and I praise you and I fall on my face to you my precious Lord and God Almighty Amen and Amen I received this word on 14 September 2015 at 5.16 p.m. Daughter, write my words, King Yeshua HaMashiach, so my children can hear what their Savior has to say today. I love you very much, my children. This ministry is about my love. It is to bring my end of harvest into my bosom. It is to bring the good news, me, to my creation. It is to heal the broken heart and to help people understand my gospel. My daughter is doing a great job for my kingdom, as well as all my servants who work for their king. 
If you are my child, you want to please me and to do my good works. Seek ye first my kingdom, and all things shall be given. However, when you come through me into my kingdom, your priorities change. This is how my holy kingdom is my beautiful creation. There is no darkness in me, and my children are children of light. I am very happy with my faithful, my bride, for she has realized that there is no controversy or backbiting in me. There is only love and nurturing your neighbor. Conjecture produces strife, and that I have no part of, my bride. You have learned well. I have taught many of you myself, those of you who have willingly let me have your entire life and have followed me no matter where I have asked you to go or what I have asked you to say and do. <clears throat> Most of my commandments for my bride's obeisance has not made any sense to them or to their family. However, they still persevered. Your rewards are great, my love. I am on the verge of delivering my wrath, and the darkness is growing ever so quickly. My daughter feels it as well as all of my bride. You must stay following me every moment and partaking of my joy, peace, love, and my presence constantly. Only I can protect you, my love. Be ready to suffer for your Savior. I will be with you, just as you saw my daughter in Kentucky follow me even to a jail cell, so some of you will be required. That was just the beginning of the persecution for my name's sake, my love. Things are going to get worse in the world. Rejecting me and my commandments. My bride, do not be afraid. Read my word in all of my saints who suffered persecution. I was with them and I never left them. I am pure love and I will supernaturally protect my own, my love. The time of woes will, beginning, will be beginning soon, which means I will be coming for my bride to rescue her soon also. I will rescue you, my faithful remnant. I truly will. Looking to the everlasting life to spend with my bride, King Yeshua HaMashiach.